Hey, so I'm going to be on the radio. What? Yeah, someone's given me my own series. Uh, this isn't just a plug, by the way. I'm going to do an experiment, but you have to listen to this first, all right? Uh, it's not just me, thank God. It's Helen Arnie and Matt Parker. It's mostly me. Uh, they they help, uh, though I have slightly fewer lines than them. I don't understand. Anyway, uh, it's a comedy show about science. It's called Domestic Science. It'll be on Radio 4. And we encourage you to science along at home uh, using the things that you find in your house, like uh, cups of coffee, uh, cookware, uh, the severed heads of your enemies, the detritus that builds up in a domestic environment. And uh, I want to show you one of the experiments from the show. My least favourite thing to do in the morning is wake up. Uh, I avoid it if I can, um, but if I have to do it, then I use coffee to make it possible. Uh, I haven't had a coffee yet, uh, so I'm going to make one now. Um, if I seem slightly angry or confused, that's why. Um, but okay, so this is some. This is amazing. Next time you make a coffee, uh, do it. So uh, you, what you do is to make a coffee. You get your uh, mug. Um, you get your. Uh, instant coffee granules. Uh, why is there gaffer tape on, on your um, jar of instant coffee, Steve? Because uh, it's the BBC and uh, uh, you are not allowed to know that I prefer the full rich flavour of... So what you do is you just put as much uh, instant coffee uh, as you need uh, to get through the day. If you've only got ground coffee, this won't work. Uh, if you've only got uh, coffee beans that you grind yourself, stop being an insufferable hipster. The next stage is to add hot water, but first this is uh, an audio experiment. This is something that works. Check that out. What? Yeah, little mic. <laughs> so um, next step is to add the water. That goes in there. Give it a stir. Okay, but this is the cool bit. Take the spoon out and tap the edge. What? Can you hear the pitch rising there? Just going up and up. You can reset it, stir it again. It goes again. Do it again. You can do this for about 10 minutes until someone takes your spoon. Anyway, uh, the point is, uh, that's a cool thing that you can do with stuff around your home. Uh, it's called the hot chocolate effect because uh, it was first discovered when someone was making hot chocolate, but it works with generally when you put powder in things. The key to understanding the hot chocolate effect is the fact that sound travels at different speeds through different substances. So when you're talking to someone, there's a delay as the sound travels from your mouth to their ears. But if you were talking to someone underwater, that delay would be a lot shorter because sound travels more quickly through water. So when you strike something like a mug, the pitch that it rings at is affected by the speed of sound in the substance that's in the mug. So when you stir hot chocolate powder or instant coffee powder into the hot water, you're, you're also stirring bubbles of air as well. And when you stir them in, you're distributing those bubbles of air evenly throughout the mug. And those bubbles of air lower the overall speed of sound in that fluid which means that when you tap the side of the mug, it's a lower pitch than it would otherwise be. But as you continue to tap, those bubbles of air rise to the surface and escape, which increases the speed of sound in the liquid, which raises the pitch. And that is the hot chocolate effect. Details of the radio show are available presumably somewhere surrounding this video that you're watching right now, unless you're watching it full screen on your phone, of course, in which case, it would be weird if the details were surrounding the video, though that is possible. Um, so here you go, Radio 4, Wednesdays at 11.15pm from July the 20th, then on iPlayer for a little bit. There you go.